Yeah, as you can see. Really, I thought there'd be more under here. That's where I just came from, right? Ah, I was right, you see? Now, you can find little loot containers like this underwater and in like little hidden caves and stuff. And uh, I would actually recommend going for those because you do sometimes get some some good stuff or some good cash and it, this is just a really good way to earn cash real quick now as you can see I was getting a little bit of a detection symbol that was because uh there are pirates over there unfortunately because if I look on my map which I'll do in a second when I get out of the water if I look on my map I am just kind of bordering the red zone right now this is where I am and these are a, a little pirate encampment but if I take this I should be able to get this uh, whole red zone cleared out which I'm gonna try and do real quick I kind of want to go this way. I don't want to be seen. If I have to, I'll dive. Okay, you never really want to travel by the road when you're going into a red zone. To the pure fact that you will just like run into some random pirates and they'll be like, Oh, hey, look. Let's kill him. Because you're not, you know, a pirate. Uh, you can't disguise yourself as a pirate, no. Uh, other stuff like that. Oh, I can't even get up here. This is retarded. I gotta, I gotta crouch out of here. I actually do have to get out of here really badly. This is not really good a good situation that I'm in. There are like three pirates over there, and they could call in more pirates. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like the situation. I gotta be careful that there's none on the road. Ooh, they could see me if I try and cross here. You gotta be kind of stealthy in this game. The stealth part of this game is what really kind of brought me onto it. These guys are just walking by a uh, fire. Okay, that was good. I almost got seen there, but I don't think I did. I don't think they could see me. Okay, so, unfortunately, there are places like these where you just can't physically run at them. Because Jason is just stupid. Yeah, they, they make you think you can run up certain places, but you can't. Careful fall damage in this game, by the way, is, is devastating. Literally, like, devastating. Okay, I did find a little bit way over there. Oh, wow. I almost ran straight into that encampment. Wow, that would have been horrible for me. Because those AK-47s do tend to wreck you. Okay. I'm just going to kind of run around. Oh, crap. That was close. I heard, I heard the engine going, and I was like, oh, no. That is not good. There's a high chance I was going to die there if I ran into anybody. The slide ability is really helpful for stuff like this. Just for the fact that you can just like run and crouch into the foliage. Because standing in the foliage is kind of stupid. But if you're, if you're just kind of crouched in the foliage, nobody can really see you. Okay, there's an encampment down here. I kind of want to get this so I can just run around freely in this first area. Man, that lag spike though, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But oh, see if I I might be able to go over here. There might be people here. If I am able to go in here, I'm gonna kind of rendezvous up in this point. Yeah, you can. Okay, good. So I'm gonna rendezvous right here. I'm getting bored now. Oh, I could hear people though. That's not good. Is there anything in here? There's not really anything in here. Okay, so this is a little rendezvous 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 point. I could use and that's a little like secretive thing. Ooh, there's a guy right there, but I can kill him if he doesn't have any friends. Shit. Bend like a mother when I piss. Should have used a robot. Alright, this uh yeah, let's talk about that. Alright, cool. Yeah, I took that guy down. Don't think he has any friends. Oh. Yeah, I had to dispatch that guy quickly. There is if you dispatch a guy quick enough, I didn't want to do that. You can just like stop him from calling in reinforcements or whatever. But yeah, that's that's uh, that's as much as I can do right there. Uh, I'm gonna go loot this place. This is a good rendezvous point for this next place. So if you guys are gonna play this game, I would recommend using this point because it does help a lot. Because as you can see, you can see this whole camp from here. Now if I zoom in, I should be able to, to identify a couple guys like that guy. Ooh. Got what all the symbols mean. A symbol that's a charger. He will just charge you. I think that's a sniper. 
Uh, I don't like dealing with snipers, because they can just see you. Uh, it just wrecks you. That's why snipers are really hard to take care of. Unless you have a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow does wreck these things. Uh, there's only two, but as you can see, there's like that little... I'm pointing on my screen like you guys see. But there is that little red part right there. Um, the, the, it looks like a microphone, because that's what it is. If they hit that... It can just make reinforcements come. So what you could either do is you could A, take that out and then take everybody else out. Or B, take everybody out and take that out. Or you just take everybody out and get the camp. But it is good to take those out just in case you do get seen. Man, I am explaining this like a beast. Alright. So, let's go. Right. I'm not going to be talking too much here because I do want to kind of focus. Okay, so I want to go to this, this, uh, this little cliff here. Oh, look at the little piggies. Right. Something wrong with my gums. I gotta, I gotta go to the dentist one. Okay. There's that sniper I was talking about. Okay. There's the charger. I don't think we'll run into any RPG guys. Yeah, I gotta go talk to Dr. Ethan Harris, but I do want to roam freely. Now, you have, you always have that main quest you have to do. You don't have to get it done right away. It's a quest that will actually take time where you need to get the right equipment and everything because there's just like, you know, it's in a red zone. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go down here real quick. I'm walking on nothing. Okay. Don't know if I'll be able to take this guy out quickly and quietly enough. Definitely don't have the sights on him that I really want. Yeah, this is going to be kind of tough because I only know three enemies. I don't know if there are any more. There is a car that just went by over there, which is oh, not the best. I think that orb gave you the clap. Oh, look at that. Okay, then we got the sniper guy. Okay, there are four enemies I know of, but I can't see past his house. So, oh, there's I'm a shark in that one too. Okay, if I take out that guy, the sniper might see me, but there's a very low chance because he is looking over that way. Um, I could go for this guy, but I don't know how many people are, like, by over here because that kind of is my blind spot. I'm going to try, though. Ooh, the sniper almost saw me. Okay, I got to go kind of over and around. I don't know if he'll be able to see me if I go down here. Oh, this is risky, guys. Now what else you could do is you can throw rocks in this game. If you throw rocks, people will go to investigate like I do this. What the? And even the nearest guy will go to check it out, which is good. I do want to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Oh! Am I drag his body? Okay, I think that's a skill you get, is to drag his body. Oh, there's a guy right there. That's the charger, actually. Don't like those guys at all. Take out that radio! Uh, this is really, this is a hard one. This is a tough one. This is a tough cookie to, to eat. I want to go up there and take that sniper out, but I have to slow down because, I, again, I don't know how many enemies there are in total. Okay, okay you can't see me. Probably run upstairs real quick and take out the sniper. If I take out the sniper, I might have a tactical advantage. Oh, don't walk over this way, please. Did you see me? Good. I hate you. This is a very tempting top shot to take. Oh, there's another guy. Ooh, you see? That's why you don't kind of go rushing in after not knowing how many people there are. Uh, it's just a regular. Good, I got this height advantage. They won't be able to see me very well. 
I took out that sniper soul. He should be able to roam a little bit more freely. But I think someone just found his body. Not actually sure. I could take this sniper and just start, like, popping off people. But that is risky because I could just start. Uh, I'll do that for, like, the last kill. I'll take the sniper. I'll kill the guy. Uh, this guy's about to pass here. I would be able to kill him, actually. If I run down the stairs real quick. It is risky, though. If he, if he walks over there and I'm able to jump down real quick and just like kind of take him out, that'd be amazing. I could headshot wow, him don't. and just take him out real quick. That's too risky. Be good. Take out this radio. Okay, alarms is on. Okay, good. I could roam more freely now for the fact that they can't use the, the alarm. That doesn't give me the, the best. Because, I, again, I don't know how many enemies there are in total. I only know of two more. There could be another one just roaming around somewhere. Or just in like a, a nook. Let's see. But I can kill this guy real quick, which will help. And then I could go for that last guy that I know of. I did not want that shotgun. Give me back my gun. Nope, give me back my gun. I'm gonna make sure there's no one else around. I could just get that sniper and just pop him real quick. Just for a little bit of stylish hand, but... Yeah, let me do that, because well, why not? <laughs> I kind of do want to end this video off with kind of like a cooler kill, because I have been just taking down everybody. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the sniper rifle that this guy up here drops, and I'm just going to pop this guy in the face, pick up my my thing, and just take the whole encampment, because that was a that was a victory on my end. I, I actually played that very smart with the rock throwing and everything. Yeah! Alright! That was awesome! Alright, so I'm just gonna end it off with me buying a couple things, checking out my inventory and everything. Um, yeah. Oh, you get an XP bonus for getting uh, un undetected, by the way. So now there's like, now people should come over here and just kind of like, uh, hang out in this encampment. I should have gotten a lot of, uh, let me see the map. Yep, the map is all green, this whole area, which is amazing, so now I can just run to this place because I don't know what that is and then I have to actually go west to my uh, to my thing I don't actually know where that is I might have to go back to town okay yeah but uh, yeah that should be good let me go and check there's nothing in here I'm gonna go loot around a little bit and take this memory card get some cash uh, I really feel like I did pretty good there I, that was uh, that was a good run I like I'm, I'm glad that I took this uh, whole place. I could roam around a little bit more freely. I could hunt a little bit if I need anything. Um, let's go. We have the outpost. Yep, as you can see, the guys just kind of just pop up here. and They're like, oh, hey, good job, dude. Yeah, not doing anything. Okay, I got a green poker chip. I'll be able to sell stuff. I do want to get that magnum. That magnum is so helpful. So let me go get that because that magnum is pretty good. Um, let's see. Let's go sell some stuff let's quick sell okay there we go we got the 207 that we need uh, let's go we can't I wonder how much the special if we could get the curve bow the recurve bow I do want the recurve bow so hmm I don't know if I should save up for it okay they're actually you know what before I go let me go get those couple things that I saw like the 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 places that are just kind of hanging around. I'll go there and I'll get a couple things. I think I looted his body already. Okay, making more money off of him. Uh, where do I have to go? Okay, I kind of want to go over here. Yeah, I'll set a waypoint over here. Let's, uh, let's get into this. Let's do this. I 
do I change the radio? I don't want the radio on. Yeah, it's just annoying. Alright, so yeah, this is a this is a pretty fun game guys. If you do enjoy, please again leave a like, leave a comment, tell you enjoyed this game. Um if you guys are happy that I'm back, leave a like. It's huge support, and I'm glad to be doing this again. I actually am having a lot of fun with this right now, I'm talking, trying to explain what I'm trying to do here. Just, just cause you know, it's, it's just fun. It's a fun game. It's a fun time. YouTube is a, it's, a, it's a cool thing to do. I do recommend, you know, if you want to, go ahead and do it. Uh, you don't have to do it professionally. You don't have to do it like, spend like ten thousand dollars to do it. Just do it, do it the way you want. You know. Okay, that's not cool. God dang it, now I can't get up here. Is there like a bear in here? Oh, that's what this is. Awesome! Oh, it's a good thing I found this then. Sweet. I got a lost letter. I think these are the little collectibles and a little bit more about the island. I got a skill point. That's cool. I can level up real quick. I do have enough to get the... Yes! I can get the recurve bow, which is amazing. Ah, that's... I'm actually happy right now. Okay. Letters of the Lost. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to skills. Alright, I do... What else can I get? What can I get from here? Learn. Quickly hide bodies after performing a standard takedown. Yes, I do want this because it helps after taking down people. That is amazing. Okay. I forget. Few tutorial. What? RS initially. Hold, uh, quickly hold uh, left stick. Start dragging target's body. Use right stick uh, to turn when moving backwards. At least. Okay, I got you. Good. Because that's good. I could take someone down. I could like drag them into like a bush and people won't be able to find him. And they wouldn't be able to, you know, contact uh, the other people, which is awesome. That's actually a really cool thing to do. And people won't roam around the camp as much. Uh, that's actually a really. I'm. I'm glad I actually found this place. Okay. Not hear anything. Get to hear someone actually. What the heck is going on there? I'm still in the in the in, yeah. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Did a car just crash? Who's my car? Well, there's some random guy. Let's go, bro. I'll take your car. See if he minds. He does not give. He, just, he doesn't care. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to that camp I was just at. Actually, I could just fast travel there. So, uh, yeah, let's, tra let's fast travel this location. I'll buy the bow, show you what it does, and uh, I think I'll call it there because that was pretty fun. Uh, and I'm going to re be recording today Minecraft a little bit. Just just because uh, I do want to get into Minecraft. But this is going to be the first thing uploaded for when I'm coming back. I'm coming back strong. And, uh, yeah, let's get the recurve bow because that thing is really, really cool. You realize you have to buy arrows for it. You do get five arrows, and the cool thing about the curve, curve curve bow is you get different types of arrows. So I'll show you if I can find something to shoot. Where is that chicken thing I saw before? There's like a glitch on the rock apparently. Dwayne Johnson, obviously. Hmm. There's nothing here. I can shoot. Alright, well, I guess that's it then. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember, if you like the series, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment telling me what else I should play. I am going to play Shadow of Mordor. I am going to play this. And I'm, I am going to play Far Cry 4. I'm just wondering if you guys want me to play anything. Anything with friends, any co-op games you want to recommend. But besides that, I think I'm done here. Uh, I will, you know, come back to this in a couple days. And I will record again. But for now, thanks for watching. My name is Dragon Z Fury 4. I gotta fly, so peace.